The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. We've got James Mullion on the line today. I've asked him to make a special cameo appearance because before the market opened, Shane uh, texted me through uh, Skype that there was going to be a geostorm in the market today and it would affect the Russell 2000 more than anything else. That has to be one of the best calls I have seen in the last Long time. I mean, really long time. Shane, you're on the line, my friend? Good afternoon, Larry. How are we today? We're at the offices of Duke and & Duke, and we're very impressed with what you showed me this morning. Any chance you could share that chart with Ab the Absolutely. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick uh, update here in terms of what I'm looking at, yeah. just to refresh the viewers' minds here. So I'm actually going to do a, just a little mini presentation today, and then we can uh, follow this up yeah, on Friday. Friday. Friday, we've um, got the big presentation, yes. Absolutely. Uh, so the geomagnetic storms is a new phenomenon that I really have gotten into over the last year and a half, and it has been really accurate. Uh, th this is something that we follow when we want to look for a negative market reaction. And this particular chart that I have right here, this is this is one from last summer. And the reason I'm showing this is because we have a similar pattern right now, but you can see that we had this full moon perigee last summer, and then we had a G3 geomagnetic storm, which was one of the strongest categories. G3, G4, G5 are the strongest. And you can see the market immediately had this strong reaction to the downside here. And the reason, like I said, I'm showing this because we have a similar pattern right now. Now we are in, we are in a pattern now of increasing solar storm activity. And this is very interesting because uh, typically the market, the worst market periods are during October. Like we've had these, you know, the famous Black Monday and these stock market crashes have occurred in October. So this has really become a big part of our forecasting arsenal now uh, because we do have an annual pattern of this and these do tend to break out kind of suddenly. Uh, we had just a couple of days notice this weekend. Uh, I had a client that's in Alaska right now and he was sending me pictures of the northern lights up there. And I told him, I'm like, of course, there's a storm going on right now. There was a few of them that happened this weekend. But the activity is increasing in September and October. Now, what's interesting about this particular graph is that I, I, I looked at this and I said, this looks really familiar. I'm not, I mean, I couldn't like put the pieces together. I said, but I've never seen this graph, but it looks really familiar. But it kind of looks flipped to a, a, to a graph that I've seen before, which is the actual annual cycle. And if you look at the annual cycle of the Dow Jones going all the way back to the 1800s, it's a complete inverse of the solar storm activity. And if you put these two on top of each other, it's pretty crazy. You actually see an inverse relationship between the solar storm activity and the Dow Jones. So if you look at this graph, this is the annual cycle from letters A, B, C, and D. And we're currently in this C phase right here, this little C leg here where we're increasing the solar storm activity and the annual cycle for the Dow Jones is falling during this period. So like I said, we have two things to look at now. We have an actual pattern, which is an annual pattern, and we have these storms that can pop up very quickly. Now, one of the reasons why I, t I told you about the Russell um, was because the, the, the Fed had the Federal Reserve has done a study on this. This is data from the Federal Reserve, and they actually looked at how do these storms affect the markets, and then how do they affect the large cap versus the micro cap. This is an actual study by the Atlanta Federal Reserve. These are statistical charts. We can go into this a little more on Friday. But what you see here on this graph is all the way over to this side. This is the effect of the storm on the large caps, and you can see the storm is here, and then. Uh, the red bar is what happened after the storm. So this is before, this is after. But as you start getting smaller and smaller in size down here from the New York Stock Exchange NASDAQ or the NASDAQ, as you get down to these micro caps, you can see that the micro caps get hit the hardest. So you can see here that the, after, the week after these storms, the micro caps get hit the hardest. And so what are the small caps and the micro caps? It's the Russell. 
And so they speculated, like, why could, why is this the case? Why does it seem like these these small caps are the ones that are getting hit the hardest in these storms? And and they speculated that because these storms do affect people's emotions and activities, that this might be more uh, focused on the individual investors that can become more emotional during these periods. And the large caps might just be in these large fund holdings that they're they're not going to sell off Apple or or Broadcom uh, for one of these. So. Um, that's the idea here. Now, let's take a look at what we're seeing right now. Uh, what we're actually seeing right now, this is a graph that shows the S&P. This is a four-hour graph, and I've been tracking these storms as they come across uh, the, the S&P. And this, so this is the S&P. It's not the Russell. The Russell was hit the hardest today. But you can see here, notice that we have a full moon perigee again here, and we had a G2 storm over the weekend. And so that looks very similar to the pattern that I showed you at the beginning of this chart of, the, of this presentation of the S&P last summer. So we had the full moon perigee, which is a very strong topping pattern combined with this G2 storm. And then the Russell today is getting hit the hardest of any of these markets. So this is one of the reasons why we target the Russell for shorting patterns uh, in these geomagnetic storms. The Russell's down 35 right now. And so I think that's the market that's the most vulnerable to these to these storms and, and to downside movement as this storm activity picks up in the, in the next next couple of months. Wow, that's, that's really, uh, it's down 35 points. That That is uh, probably two standard deviations, isn't it? Or pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, and now it did wow. it did outperform on Friday before the the holiday, but it, just like clockwork, when these storms mm. come through, those small caps tend to get hit the hardest. So, like I said, this is one of the okay. reasons why we focus on the Russell uh, on the short side when you get these storms because it, it is the most sensitive to this particular uh, influence on the markets. There's other things like the Fed use that we look at, but this particular one, I really like it because it's it's pretty consistent. And uh, we do have a couple of days notice ahead of time before these storms come. It's not as accurate as hurricane forecasting, but it, it is pretty good. They do a pretty good job of this. NOAA does a pretty good job of, of letting us know when these storms come off. Hey, listen, buddy, we're going to have you on again Friday, but you're doing a great job. Thanks, Larry. Take care, everybody. Have a you great bet. day. You bet. Shane Smolian, folks, wolftrader.com. By the way, folks, my forecasting is 100%. I forecast Tuesday will be followed by Wednesday, which will be followed by Thursday, which will be followed by Friday. I have never missed, folks, in 62 years of forecasting. That's how good I am. And it's not based on astrology. It's based on accounting, a one and a two and a three and a four and a five. Okay, let's move on here, folks. Uh, we've got a couple questions coming in, and that is, uh, what is going to be the effect of these debt market with the student debt and all this other stuff that's out there, folks? God only knows, and she hasn't told me yet, but I'll tell you, it's not going to be good. Most of the people that uh, borrowed money, many of these folks are not going to be able to pay it back. I don't know how these students can do it. I actually don't. Uh, I don't know how they've hung on as long as they have. But you know who pays the final bill if the students don't pay it because it's government debt. And guess who the government is, folks? That's you and me. And that's the way it is, and that's the way it's always going to be. The one thing about it, folks, when you hear Republican lying, remember that there's one person on the other side that's doing the same thing. So I don't trust any of these politicians. I never have. And I don't even like to talk about it. Yes, Johnny, I will shut up and move on to the next one. We're going to take a break here. When we get back. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We got some great charts here from our good friend, Rich Anderson. I spent all weekend chatting with him about this. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens to some of these things as they unfold here today. So stay with me here. When we come back, we've got a little break coming up here to pay a few bills, and then we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks. Uh we're going to have tomorrow, I can't remember, we've got a guest tomorrow, but I'm not home right now traveling. But on Wednesday, excuse me, on Thursday, we're going to have Mike Moore. Excuse me, Thursday will be Joe DiNapoli finishing up his show from um, Friday. And then Friday, we will have Shane Smolian. Wednesday, tomorrow, we're going to have Mike Moore, a more analyst, talking about this big move in crude oil that we've had today and all the ramifications behind it, of course. But we'll be doing that. Now, I want to just ask you folks a favor here. Uh, John Jameson, who's one of my dearest friends, has been writing the, uh, the letter for me for the past oh, four years. And if you would like to see the long version of that letter in Trade What You See, just drop me an email at Larry at tradingtutor.com. And if you want, if you prefer the short version that I write, put that in there too, folks. This is not a contest for two skunks. This is just he wants to know if uh, the, the stuff that he has, which I think is the most valuable stuff I know, if you'd like to put that into the market section like he's been doing for some times. I'm not going to ask you to do it either one way or another. It makes no difference to me. I like it both ways. I spend literally one hour a day, at least seven days a week, and I have for the last uh, four and a half years. Uh, that's how much I respect his opinion. But uh, you decide for yourself, but let me know if uh, you would like to have him continue writing. I, I'm, mine's very short. I know one thing, folks, A, B, C, D. That's that's basically it. You know, I've got, got several degrees, you know, and I, when I look back and say, my God, if I'd have just known A, B, C, D, you know, 60 years ago, I think we'd be finding, you know, <laughs> anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here as we're looking at some of these things here today. Uh, let's move on here and talk a little bit more about the debt, because it's not just all these things that are there. Uh, Rich Anderson sent me this one that shows you where all this stuff is coming from and how it's going to end. And frankly, folks, I don't know how it's going to end. 
uh, amicably. I really don't. So let's just take a look at this one here from Rich. Please focus on it. Ah, shucks. This is going to take me three times to get it, but I'm going to get it in there. No question about it. I'm going to get it on this time. And if I don't get it on this time, I'm going to get it on the next time. And this looks like I'm going to try for the third time. This just shows you where all this debt's coming from, and it's all coming to the, uh, let me try to blow it up a little bit. Maybe that'll change it enough to get it on there. Man, I, even when I try to go to applications, uh, Jacob, I'm not able to get the darn thing in there. God darn it. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> they shouldn't let me out of the office every day. In fact, I'm not in the office. So let's take try it one more time to show you where all this debt is. It's coming from all sources. So first of all, I'm going to switch over to screens, move this over, hit this, and then maybe this will hold on. Yay, there it is. Okay, now you see all these different sources. You've got student debt. You've got car loans. You've got rent. You know, you've got everything. All your credit cards are all involved in there. And guess what's happening to interest rates? Those going higher when they're asking for four money to put up for the debt. And here is the poor little consumer over here. This is not going to end well, folks. This is, this is like the, uh, the uh, homeowners thing back in 07 squared is what it is. And you stop it. Look at home. The average, the average um, uh, payment for a car is $795. That's the average payment, folks. You know, uh, so it, it, it's not a good thing that's going to be happening. So pay attention. This bond market that I posted earlier in the morning, is as negative as I've ever seen it. I mean, sure, we might get a rally in here anytime, just like we did. We rallied from 116 up to 121 and change, and now we're back to 118, heading lower. And that's all it is. It's just higher interest rates uh, coming up here. So hold on one second, folks. They're ringing the bell over here on the old, uh, the old, uh, oh boy, color me happy, baby. Color me happy. Hold on just a second here, folks. All right, let's move on here uh, to gold market, folks. We mentioned yesterday the import. Well, we mentioned it uh, not yesterday because we weren't here yesterday. I mentioned it in the video that I sent out. All that is happening here is because of what's happening with the U.S. dollar. We talked about that last week and the fact that it was in an area where it was ready to really, really go bonkers to the upside. I'm going to show it to you again here, hopefully you'll be able to see it because we are almost at the moment of truth, folks. So let's get this up here. Maybe we'll be able to see it. It's not the end of the world like some people are trying to tell us because we are very, very close. You can see this little red dot over here that says, point. yes, Jacob, not Jacob. <laughs> yes, Johnny, 0 0.382 comes in there at about 105.10, and we are really close. What does that mean? If you flip this side upside down and know that the euro is 56% of the U.S. dollar index, the euro is probably going to be hitting just a little below 106. Uh, I just saw it trade 107 and 10, so 106 is a heartbeat away. So tomorrow is the key day, maybe today. But watch this. This is going to be the this is going to be the big daddy rabbit. Because if this thing goes blasting through 105, uh, you're looking at 110, possibly 115. And believe me, this is not going to make very many people happy, especially those folks in over in Riyadh, because uh, they don't like the dollar. They want petrodollars. So there's a big there's a big battle going on over there. And we're going to find out who's going to win it. Well, we know who's going to win it. You don't count votes in the U.S. Treasury. You weigh them. And we've got a pretty good weight over there. Uh, just let's keep our powder dry and see what's going to happen here. Now, I wanted to share with you uh, another chart that is, we never talk about this one, but it's a big one. This is the uh, uh, shut the front door and raise the rent, Larry. Hold on. Hopefully this one will come up without any trouble at all. It says it's going to. Here it is. This is the emerging markets, folks. This is a long-term weekly. You can see here the last rally we had in the emerging markets ending four weeks ago stopped exactly at the exact tick of the 382 retracement, and now we're starting to move lower. Now, this is where many people think the next bull market is coming from, and maybe it's going to be, but before a bull market can happen, it's got to get above that 382, and it's not been able to do that as of yet. That doesn't mean that it can't. 
It just means that it hasn't done it yet. That's the main thing that you want to keep in mind as we're looking at this. Folks, we've got a big A, B, C, D down here uh, in the S&P here uh, and also in the uh, the NAS, uh Dow, <laughs> the Dow Jones Industrial Average E Mini, okay? I believe it's around 34,640, something like that. So pay attention. We might get there today, and that might be the end of the selling for today because, you know, the market's not down very much. The NASDAQ's down five, the S&P's down 14, the Dow Jones Futures is down 140. So that's not much of a down move, in my opinion. So I think this is the culmination of that big ABCD that we've been talking about for several days. And uh, we're going to find out what that will be. Since we're here with kicks and giggles, we got to pay a few bills. When we get back, we're going to look at that. Uh, we're going to look at that uh, chart and see where we might be looking. OK, so uh, take a little break here. And for some reason, I'll be right back. And why? I don't know. That happened. Hmm. Uh, looks like I cut the short things short. I'm sorry about that, Al. I, oh, there we go. We're okay. There we're busy. It's just... Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the Dow E-mini showing you what it's been doing here. Uh, you'll notice here our par price objective here with these two ABCD patterns at the 50% level comes in at 46,000. <laughs> 30, <laughs> 34,640, I believe, somewhere down in there, right around, just a little below that level. You'll be able to see it right there. And also, uh, if you'll notice, this pattern that you're seeing right here, folks, is nothing more than the 135 pattern. There's, there's one, there's three, and there's five. That was the high today. And now, this is where we're headed, folks, and this is just a correction in this big market here. And then from that level, we'll probably get a little move up. But we're going to be paying very, very close attention to that one because that's going to be a very important ABCD one. One of the reasons that we showed that dollar index chart over the weekend was the fact that gold looks so very bearish. And that's why we had been shorting gold. We sold some at uh, 72. We sold some at 68. We covered it all at 55 and 54, 1955 and 1954. It's went a little bit below. But that's what our job is, is to make money not lose money and that's what we're trying to do here at trade what you see and anyway let's uh talk just a second here uh about the situation that is going on in the crude oil the crude oil uh, looked like it had every possibility of making a major top up there at the 382 at 8600 we sold it at 8579 the market broke down about a dollar and we put our stop at break even and our stop was in the market just as they made the announcement from Riyadh that uh, they were going to keep the $1 million quota going for another 2, 3, 7, 12 years, whatever it's going to be. And we were taken out at break even. And that, to me, is a winning trade because, you know, you, you're either going to have a big one. Could have been the other way. But that's the way it went this time, and that's why we try to protect ourselves as we're doing these things uh, unfolding uh, here today. So let's remind ourselves of that. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. That number, by the way, is 34,652. It's 75 points away here in the uh, Dow Jones E-mini. So watch that number, 34,652. And that should, be, uh, that should be a really interesting spot here to see if the market's going to hold that level right here. I'm going to put the limit minder in to make sure that uh, we get out of it at that point. But there's several. Let's just show you that this. It's so clear that it's scary. That's the real the real bottom part. So let's just get this up here to show you what we're looking at. Because we, oh, shucks. Uh, it'll only take, just give me a second to get the second. Uh, ah, technical difficulties surround my... Why does it do this to me? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't like me. Let's get up here. We're going to see right here. There's where we are. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. Oh, we're really close to another one right here. Holy cow. Going to be very interesting. Hold on one second, boys and girls. I want to get this up here so you can see we're close to one right now, but I think the other two are having a better a better value of it. But skips. Oh, I can get this chart up, I believe. And then we'll be able to see what I'm looking at here because I just did the smaller one. I've got three major uh, price objectives just right below where we're trading right now. And I believe we're going to probably get there. Uh, this is the YM chart. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to show you right here. We just hit this one just now. Uh, we just made this one right now at uh, 34,700, 690. So we're there. We're heading a little bit lower. So let's keep that watching. I don't... Uh, People keep asking me, are we going to have a crash? Hello, operator. I don't know. It's a crash from smash. I really don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't play for that. I play for patterns. That's all I look for. And when I get them, I think it's great. And when I don't, I don't worry about it too much, okay? So that's uh, the bottom line of what I'm paying attention to, okay? What is interesting here is the fact that these patterns are repeating over and over again, market after market. So that's why we really like to keep an eye on watching them unfold. Now, they don't always work, like the one in the crude oil didn't work. Here's one in the German DAX. I want to show you this. This from my good friend, Mr. Tom Hugard, Trader Tom. Get this up here to take a look at it. This comes, by the way, of our good friend Alan Smith over there 
in the uh, over there in the UK. Hopefully it'll come up. Boo! Not so lucky on that one, but we're going to keep trying. I've got some other things here. I'm not going to worry about that. I've sh I want to share another one. This is a really interesting one. I want to read this to you because this is from Rich Anderson. It's 18 things about the the uh, the recent the rules of money. Let me get this bring in here. So I hope you guys can get this because this is really cool. And uh, I'm just going to read them to you with a little bit of luck. Okay, first of all, pay yourself first. Number one. Number two, learn how to invest. Number three, don't be a hater of it. Give away a dollar for every job you do. Spend less than you earn. Have a plan and set goals. My God, that's all about trading. Don't be a slave to money. Thank you very much, Richard. If you have it, don't flout it. Boy, that's a major one. Boy, that keeps you keeps you grounded, believe me, in my opinion. Um, keep your finances organized. And it's a game. Learn how to play it. And boy, it is a game. And boy, some people can play it better than others. Always have an emergency fund. Number 17, because there might be a horse in the fifth race at Saratoga that could bail you out. 18, always have money that you use passively. Um, use it to solve problems in the world. That's why you should always give some to people that need it. Know how to risk and how to leverage. Boy, that's very important in your trading. And if you use credit, stop using credit and just use cash. And finally, money is an important treat and treat it accordingly if you've got it. Some people don't have it. Some people do. But that's a uh, but I'm, I, you don't have to remember all of those, but remember the main thing is to respect it because that's the, that's the bottom line of what you want to be looking at as you're watching these markets unfold here each day. Now, I wanted to bring another one up here that shows you the relation. Oh, shucks, just a second. Uh, I want to show you the tuition cost of, of children, folks, going to college and beyond if you know graduate school and stuff like this i was fortunate enough to be able to get my kids a great education because i was making a couple bucks during that time and you'll notice here look at the look at the inflation cost of tuition folks versus the regular inflation folks my grandson he's uh 22 years old 23 years old now he was born in 2000 august 14th he had a scholarship at stanford and in mathematics and he went there for a year and when he came back he said uh, second year he said i'm not going back no no he said uh, it's not for me he said i don't like it i said well then don't go and his mother said if you don't like it do what you want to do and so he's uh, gone to new york to make his uh, make his life and he's doing a great job there he's uh, you know just very proud of what he's done and he's very smart so whether he goes to college or not doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me because that boy, is, he's got his act together. So and, and he's still he still he reads incessantly like he his mother did. So you know, he's not he's not a derelict or anything. He just didn't like the way that the, the college professors were trying to ram things down his throat that he didn't believe. So that's neither here nor there. We're going to take a break, I think, pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, here, folks, bear with me, folks, here. I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about that dollar index where we're looking at it uh, on the weekly chart up there because it's going to be a big one. That's a big 382. Now, I posted the chart. <sighs> Hold on a second. I posted the chart of the regional banking index, okay? Now, you remember we got a sale on that about three months ago, way up at the 382 level. And it basically collapsed. That was from our good friend Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. And now you can see we had the ABCD retracement stopping exactly to the exact tick three days in a row at the 50% retracement. The market breaks down and in an eight day rally goes exactly up to the 382 level. Uh, that is a negative chart. And that tells us that we're most probably going to be looking, market is probably wants to go a little bit lower okay so watch it all of this folks is going to be based on what's happening with that u.s dollar index if it gets to that uh, 105 and change i believe uh, someone might tell me if we hit 105 i know we hit 10 uh, 80 or something that a little while ago but the 105 and 10 i think is the exact number that we're looking at uh, with that to see if it's going to be something that's going to be, you know, really, really super big. So I, that's all I can say is that that's going to be really important because that's real money, folks. That means these boys that are trading these uh, foreign currencies are locking in prices and stuff all over the world. You don't see the Federal Reserve in there fooling around very much. Yeah, they might do it once in a while, but usually not with the euro. They can do it with the pound, of course, uh, but the euro and the Japanese yen, <laughs> no, nah, they can get into trouble. They, they learned that from George Soros, that uh, you can't fade Mother Nature. When these things are ready to roll over, that's what they're going to do, and that's the whole thing. Someone asked me a question about electric cars. I know uh, I don't know anything about electric cars other than I play poker with a guy that has a Ford Lightning Paid ninety six thousand dollars for it. He gets about one hundred and seventy miles. He is yelling and screaming at the Ford dealership because it just doesn't run right, and it doesn't have no charge in his battery, and they don't fix it. 
and he is quite upset about it. I, that's the extent of my knowledge of electric cars. I don't trust anything you can't hear, folks. And by golly, I like to hear that rumble of a nice little V8 engine if you've got it, or a nice a small six, or even a, a little four banger. But I don't like the electric. And when I go to San Luis Obispo to visit my daughter, I see the electrical station there at the Madonna Inn. And it's about a two-hour wait, and then once you get in, you got to takes about an hour to get your your car charged up. You know, hello operator, what happens? You get stuck out on a freeway somewhere. Who, who's going to give you an electrical charge? Lightning bolt? Hello operator. I just saw a flash up here. We're almost at 148 in the dollar yen, folks. That's a that's a tells you something's going on in these markets. So we need to watch them very very closely here today and tomorrow because if these markets do not hold. That 46, uh, 34,600 level in the uh, Dow Jones, that's going to be a pretty negative, pretty negative uh, forecast, I would believe. Okay, now someone asked a question if we're going to have Norm Winsky on again. And guess what, boys and girls? I was notified today through his business agent, one of his many business agents, that Norm will be our guest on Monday, September the 11th. And everybody knows what that is. That's my good friend Nikki's birthday. But more, impa more important, that was one of the saddest days in American history, folks. I can remember watching the thing occurring with uh, Arch Crawford on the other line. He lived about two miles from me. And Arch told me five minutes before the news hit that the Pentagon had been hit with a some type of a, a missile. And uh, Arch already knew that. Now, we had stopped trading. Uh, ten minutes after the first plane hit, uh, all the markets closed. The S&P was down about 10 at that time. It didn't open for, I think it was about five or six days. Opened sharply lower, went down, and then rallied like a son of a gun. Starting in early Oct uh, late September, early October, it made a 61% retracement uh, on, the, on the year. And then it went all the way down to make its final bottom in 2002 in October. So, boy... This is one of the advantages of being a technician is you don't have to ask what's happening. Just look at the chart and see where the money's going because that's the key to telling you whether you're going to be on the right side or the outside. And you want to try to be on the right side of the market. You don't want to be a fighter. You want to do the things that keep you in the game as best you possibly can. Now, I need to check something here very quickly because I have uh, – I have several positions on that I need to be uh, doing something about. So far, our low has been uh, 34,700. We've only rallied just a tiny bit here, so not very much is going on. And uh, we've got some action going, of course, in some of these other markets that are really quite interesting. So we're going to keep, uh, keep our eyes on that, of course. And we're going to see uh, what happens with some of these as we look at them. Uh, throughout the day, I've got to, I've, I'm going to be talking here for just a minute, but I have to change an order. So you're going to have to bear with me here a second because I, there might be a silence because I cannot, <laughs> I cannot. Um, uh, hold on a second, I got to click that off. Okay, cancel that, and let's go up here to here. And I, just give me a second, boys and girls, and I can, uh, I'll be all right here once I make this. Uh, uh, because if I screw up, oh, no, don't do this to me, please. Please don't do this to me. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. I don't like this. All right, just give me a second here. I'm doing a new platform, folks, and it is a, how do you say it in Italian? A son of a gun. <laughs> okay, get that right. Uh-oh. Now I got to cancel one other one. Just a second. I got to cancel. Eighty-seven. Oh, cancel this one. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Now Billy Ray is back. Any questions? Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Remember, tomorrow's guest will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Thursday we got Joe DiNapoli is going to finish up his presentation, and then on Friday we're going to have the Shane Man. With his geomagnetic storm is going to be our guest uh, on Friday. So those are some of the things that we're watching very, very closely uh, here today. Okay, let's move on here for the final segment here. Uh, let's move on to take one. Uh, those of you that uh, we bought some wheat today uh, down there at our number, it made, uh, made 14 cents at one time. So definitely you made some money off the wheat trade. 
Uh, soybeans have been all over the map today, but very, very tradable. So these are, these are the kind of markets that, that they really like, folks, because it gives you all of the things necessary you know, to make good decisions you, and keep your risk as small as possible. And that, that's what the whole thing is about you know, when we're doing these things, okay? So I think that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to do the last segment here, folks, because my voice is gone. Uh, Jacob will take care of you from there, and I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with our good friend, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, folks. The 23rd, let me see. I have to go to the SLV for Silva because we were, they were, that was changing contracts also. So you get the SLV coming back with 6.1 million. Uh, yeah, you're filling this gap. You're coming into 12 and 24. So that gap looks like it's going to be filled. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 63. Nasdaq's off 23. S&P's down 10 and a half. Now, it's all about this dollar today, folks. Keep this number in place. 104,699. Uh, we've hit 104,907. Right now, you're trading 104,711. Because you can see, wherever the dollar goes, like the first leg down on the dollar, when it did give it up, that's when you saw the S&P actually only go minus 2. 
the dollar goes back up, and what ends up happening is that the S&P gets to, it was bigger than that, actually, it was, uh, yeah, the S&P got down to this uh, 4501 when it went back up. It goes back down, the S&P got to the 4520. So nine points above, you can, we almost went flat. Now, right now it's teetering once again. It's at 104.692. And the 104.699, what that is, folks, okay, that is the swing point that it's been trying to get to for quite some time. You know, it not only what it did here, and this was so deviant, it, you know, you broke with conviction. It comes back up Friday before we took the Labor Day break, right at the line. And then today, it blew, not only blew by the line, it blew by the line with strength, meaning it was wide price spread. It took out the swing point, okay, and that's the number I'm giving you is the 104.699. So you can see how if you're trading foreign currencies, how you, you can get whipped like beyond belief as, as, as the S&Ps because it's going tick for tick for the S&Ps. So where that dollar finishes out today that's where that market's going to finish out. That dollar finishes above the 104.699. You can expect the market to be down slightly. You know, you can see that it's it's not reacting heavily. Okay, it's not that not that heavily, but if it goes under that 104.699, you will see those S and P's turn positive. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, Think and Swim coming up next. Then we get our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavento. Uh, Jacob's going to be doing my show this afternoon. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.